go down into this muddy ditch from the road and start my day. Woo! Slipping already. Good morning, day 23 on the Florida Trail. It is a wet day again, so I pulled out my rain pants and I got my rain jacket. If only I had rubber boots, I would be able to <laughs> smile through this trail and have it made in the shade. But at least I got pretty good protection. Of course, I dreamt about ticks crawling all over me last night. Every little skin irritation I thought for sure was a tick. I had to check myself thoroughly and thoroughly psychologically. Oh man, I do not like ticks. Maybe the rain will keep them away today. Still in Apalachicola. It's gonna be a shorter day today because I'm coming up upon Bradwell Bay wilderness. And that is the worst section of the trail, they tell me. So I gotta give myself plenty of time to get through that wilderness. So I wanna start it tomorrow when it's early in the morning. So that's the plan today. These blue blazes means that there's a campsite down there, but I'm not gonna go investigate. We boondocked right by the trailhead. So that was nice. I can just hop out of bed and get going. Not quite, but. I tell you, I am so blessed. My mom is such an easy keeper. She, she will crash anywhere and she can go for a week without a shower. She doesn't care. And yeah, she's just content wherever she's at. I am so blessed. This is such a dream. Oh, okay, that camp's called Indian Creek Camp. These plants here are bamboo, wild bamboo. You find them every so often on the trail, but not a lot. There's a nice tall specimen. God spoke to Abraham, Isaac's father, but the first time he spoke to Isaac was when there was a famine in the land he was living in. He told him not to go down to Egypt, but to stay in the land of the Philistines, and he would eventually give him all the land. He was carrying on the promise that he had given to Abraham that all the land would be his, and he was reiterating that his descendants would be like the stars of heaven. Here's a turn signal. Oh, first positive sign of the day. Thank you. And it's even got asphalt on some of it. Oh, not very much. No. That's where I didn't have to wade, thanks to this nice bridge. Whoa, it is slippy. This is definitely a jungle vibe today. Isaac obeyed and stayed in the land of the Philistines. And one day the men of the land came and asked him about his wife. And Isaac lied and said that Rebekah was his sister. He lied just like his father Abraham had done. He was afraid just like his father had been because Rebekah was so beautiful and he was afraid that they might kill her in order to take her as their wife. Well, he was in the land and one day Abimelech, the king of the Philistines, saw him sporting with Rebekah. And he said to him, hey, I thought you said she was your sister. She's not your sister, she's your wife. Why did you lie to us? One of our people might have taken and slept with her and become, made her become their wife. Thankfully, the story turns out well. Abimelech tells his people not to touch her, 
Then Isaac becomes so rich in that land that Abimelech becomes afraid of him and tells him to go away because he is mightier than they are. My feet are 100% saturated, so, and I haven't even come into any major <laughs> boggy areas. So bring on the water crossings, I could care less now. The damage has been done. Somebody's having a family squabble, it sounds like. They're making a lot of ruckus. Nice little road in the forest. I'll take this. What's this I see coming up? Oh, ho, ho. that is a deep, deep pool. Wow, thankful for this log. Uh, guys, I'm gonna have to put you down because this is serious navigating without any handrails and it's very slippery. So I'll see you at the other side. I didn't even use that log. I went on that log instead, it slid my bum a bit on there and came off much better. That's way too slip, slippery. This is quite the tunnel through here. Very nice. Although it gets your head wet. <laughs> Dripping down. Tai Corridor. I must say I haven't got one tick on me today. So there are some benefits to walking in the wet. lake. An absolute lake. Oh, the little log in it, right? That's gonna help. Oh, no way. I found something. Thank you, people. Hallelujah! It's even got wire on it for gripping. Wonderful. Oh, they ran out of wire? <laughs> oh well, I will not complain. Holes to steady, so it's good. It's all good. <laughs> yes. All right. This is Highway 368. Not too busy of a road, thankfully. And there's my sign on the other side. It's nice they have us walking in the woods instead of on the road. It's always welcome. This trail follows this stream. Kind of fun. Ah. Now this is a bridge. Best 
bridge I've seen for a long, long time. And, well, yeah, you could use it. <laughs> I'm just saying you could have probably hopped across. Anyway, not complaining. Thank you for the bridge. Don't even have to use the cables. Let's see what it looks like out there. Lovely. So that was 4.6 miles through the woods and now I get to go for a bicycle ride for 2.6 miles, so that's a treat. This is too pretty not to stop and show you. I saw this on my bike ride. Oh, it's so cool. Back on the trail. That was a nice little reprieve though. I was able to dry my feet out while biking. Psychologically, I need dry feet. I put on a new pair of socks too <laughs> with my wet shoes. Helps a little bit. Anyway, onward. is what I've got now. The middle part actually isn't that bad, so it doesn't sink down too much. Well, I'm gonna try and make it around the side, but it's doubtful. Oh. Never mind, I see a path. Let's see. I will take a path through the brush. Oh. <laughs> that was too good to be true. Yes. I've been dodging things quite nicely up until now, but there is no avoiding this. And it's starting to rain. Oh well, that doesn't even bother. <laughs> Mantis camp, and that's one piece of trash that's pretty cute, actually. <laughs> Got a bit of a road walk now, but it wasn't worth to get the bike out. Anyway, the story that I told today has elements of fear-based action in it. Why is fear such a controlling emotion? Jesus tells us many times not to fear. I would challenge you to put your trust in God and lean on his promises. I've done just over 11.1 miles today and I'm calling it quits. It's been a soppy day, but thankfully the rain held off mostly and there was no tick. So I like hiking in the cold. <laughs> now, do you see that sign back there? That is the entrance to Bradwell Bay, the most difficult part of the Florida Trail. And that's where I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>